Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to the very first episode of I am your host, Ashley L. Dalton, beauty and wellness coach and weight snatch queen. In today's episode, I'm going to give you 10 pieces of advice that I wish I knew in my 20s. Listen up, ladies and gents, listen up. Number one, thinking you need to have it all together. Like, who told you this lie? You do not need to have a mansion, a car, five kids, a pool, a backyard, and a million dollars in your bank account. You do not need to have it all figured out. Breathe. Breathe. I just want to remind you that you are doing just fine and that you need to keep going. You are exactly where you need to be. Which brings me into number two. Stop comparing yourself. The reason that you believe that you need to be further than where you are right now is because you're comparing your progress to someone on the internet, to your neighbor, to the people at your job, to the friend of a friend that you know. That is not your life. That is not your story. Stop comparing yourself to others and let me also add this half the time you don't even know how someone is living a lifestyle that they're living you don't know how they got that car those shoes that bag you don't know who they had to lay it with who they had to suck on who they had to who they had to do some strange things for some change to live the life that they are living you don't know what type of sacrifices they had to endure, good, bad, or indifferent. So I always say, if I am not willing to take the bad, not just the good, if I'm not willing to take the bad part of their life, then I don't want no part of what they have or what they got going on. Stop comparing yourself. You are just fine the way you are. There's nothing wrong with being inspired, but I don't want you walking around here trying to be a replica or a clone of anyone else outside of the best version of you that's who you should be striving to be which actually brings me to number three the reason you feel like you're not where you want to be and you keep comparing yourself to others is because you don't have a routine and you don't have goals i need you to make a set routine for yourself starting today that means what time am i getting up in the morning what time am i eating what time am i going to work in school or dealing with the kids what time am I doing the things that I need to do? You need a routine for your life. If you don't start this now in your 20s, your 30s and your 40s will be in shambles. Pull out a journal and decide how the next 30 days of your life is going to look. I want to help you create structure in your life. This is so important when you are young. Which brings me into number four. The older you get, the more challenging it is to lose weight. Start taking care of yourself. And that looks like starting to take care of your body. It's time that you start going to the gym or working out from home and eating well. So when your grandmother, your auntie, your friends, your elders are trying to tell you, hey, it gets harder to lose this weight as you get older, listen to them. You should be working out for at least 25 minutes a day. At the very least, you have 20 minutes out of 24 hours to dedicate to your body. Which brings me to number five, start listening to your parents, your guardians, or people who are older than you. They have been there, they have done that. They have been your age, you have never been their age. So when they're trying to give you advice or they're trying to advise you, it is out of love. People who are older than you can see things that you cannot see because you haven't experienced those things. So listen more than you talk. That's why you have two ears and one mouth. And while we're on the topic of listening, start trusting your intuition. You trust other people more than you trust yourself. And that is the exact reason why you find yourself in situations you know you have no business in being. Listen to your mind, listen to your nervous system, listen to your body when you are in a situation or confronting situations. Nine times out of 10, whatever you are feeling internally, whatever you are feeling mentally is right. Trust that feeling and it gets stronger and stronger the more you tap into it. Another reason you may not even trust yourself is because you trust in other people because you want everyone to like you. Let's talk about that people pleasing that needs to come to a complete halt. That people pleasing is getting in the way of your goals, getting in the way of your boundaries, getting in the way of everything that you need to do for self because you keep on putting everyone else first because you want everyone to like you. You don't even like everyone. Why do you want everyone to like you? Stop it. 
Stop it. Enough is enough. It's time to be selfish about the things that you want. It's time to say no. It's time to put you first. Be selfish in your 20s. Be completely selfish. Time that you drink more water. You don't drink enough water. You're dehydrated. Your skin is dry. You're looking up all the remedies online on how to have glowing skin. When you need more water, at least three bottles a day, at least half a gallon a day. You drink more soda. You drink more juice. You drink everything else more than you drink water. It is imperative when you are young to take care of your body, to stay hydrated, and number eight, wear more sunscreen. Wear sunscreen on your face, on your neck, and on your hands. Your 30-year-old self, your 40-year-old self, and your, and your 50-year-old self will thank you for wearing sunscreen every single day. Number nine is for anyone right now going through a breakup and worried about that guy or that girl. Let them go. They will be a wink in your imagination five years from now. You do not have to cry, you do not have to beg, you do not have to plead anyone to be with you. You are in your prime, you are gorgeous, you are beautiful. Let them go, you will fall in love again. I promise you, you will. I promise you, you will. It will be okay. And in the meantime, in between time, before love comes, I want you to start loving yourself. And that looks like going for walks. That looks like working on your body. That looks like eating a vegetable. That looks like putting on affirmations. That looks like knowing how to be alone. Because if you don't like being with you, who else is going to like being with you? That looks like giving yourself grace. And that also looks like going to therapy to speak about your problems. So you could be a better individual, not only for self, but for anyone else you decide to be with romantically or platonic. How you love you teaches others how to love you. Don't ever forget that. Remember to always say your affirmations every day. Pray to whoever your God is. Keep your head up, keep your back straight, and stay the course. And in case no one told you today, I am proud of you. Congratulations. You matter. You are enough. If I could say anything again for my 20 somethings, you are more than enough. And it's not because of anything that's outside of you. You are enough because you are enough. You are worthy because you are worthy. Don't ever forget that. Follow me for more videos like this. And if you need help, you need a one-on-one, -on -one, book a call with me, link in bio. Here are 10 pieces of advice for my 20 something. Listen up. My love, stop thinking that you need to have it all together. You don't. You are doing just fine. Give it time and keep going. Don't give up. The guy or girl that you're crying over about right now will be a wink in your memory five years from now. You'll fall in love again. So dry those tears and wipe those eyes. You'll be okay. Wear sunscreen on your face, on your neck, and on your hands every single day. Your 30, 40, and 50 year old skin will thank you later. And drink more water and less soda and juice. Work out and take care of your body now because it gets harder as you get older. Trust your intuition. You trust other people more than you trust yourself. Believe what your body, what your nervous system, what your mind is telling you. Follow your gut feeling and stop ignoring it. Listen to your parents or your guardian. They have been there before. You have never been their age, but they have been yours. I promise you they are not trying to lead you down the wrong direction. Stop trying to please everybody. You want everyone to like you. You don't even like everyone. That people pleasing needs to come to a stop. It's time to be selfish and stop comparing yourself to some random person on the internet or anyone in general for that matter. You don't know what they're doing to get the lifestyle that they have, who they laying up with, who they sleeping with, who they plucking, sucking, bucking with to live the life that they're living. You don't know what sacrifices, good, bad, or indifferent that they had to endure to have the things that they have. Stop comparing yourself and be a leader. Lead the group and stop following. We have enough followers. You have enough followers. I don't see too many leaders. If you have any tips for 20-somethings or 30-somethings, drop them in the chat below and follow me for more videos like this.